Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. This week I wanted to talk about a requirement that pops up once in a while in implementations. Um, and it varies, right, depending on kind of the use and what they're trying to do. But I'm going to use a, a simple example for this one. Sometimes in projects, you know, we get requirements like if a lead is qualified, I want the three records that are created to be owned by the same person that used to own the lead. Because by default, when you qualify a lead, the person who qualifies the lead owns the account contact and opportunity that were you know, created by the lead qualification process. That's the default behavior. But sometimes you'll say, people will say, it doesn't matter who qualifies it, the records that are resulting should be owned by the person who used to own the lead. Uh, or it will happen that we say something like, you know, if there are any activities or appointments created for an account, they should be owned by the account owner and not the person who creates the activities. So as you know, if I try to add an activity here, let's say a phone call, you will notice that I happen to be the owner automatically. So Gus Gonzalez is the owner of this record, call comes from me, all that stuff. Notice that the owner of this account is John Doe. So how do we solve for that? So in this case, I'll pick another example. I will say we want that no matter who creates a case for an account, the case is always automatically owned by the account owner. So if I go into the recent cases here and I click on add and I go to new case, you will notice that by default it's me, right? It's assigned to me, Gus Gonzalez, but I want it to be by default assigned to John Doe. So how do you do that? In a lot of cases, people do it with workflows after the case is created and all of that. There's no need for that. And that is the tip for this week. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to navigate into the solution, um, the default solution editor, the customization section of Dynamics, and I'm going to expand entities. In this case, obviously, you're going to look for the entity that is going to be the origination or the source of the requirement. In this case, will be the account because we will be creating cases from within the account. And I want to navigate into the one to many relationships for the account record. Now in here, I will sort by related entity and I'm going to look, well, in our example, it will be case, but it could be anything. It could be, you know, activity records. It could be really anything. doesn't matter. So in here on the left hand side, I'm going to click on mappings and I'm going to add a new mapping. And this is pretty straightforward. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the owner field from one entity to another. That's it. So I'm going to go to owner in here and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So scroll all the way to the O's. Where is it? Owner, I think I think it's assigned to actually within cases. So let's see. Maybe we should just go by name right here. Owner ID. There it is. All right. So owner ID to owner ID. Maybe I missed it on the first time around. Hopefully uh, we're still within the two minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and close. Select the entity. Let's publish. And then we'll go test it and see if it works. So we're going to click on the account. Come on, come on. Time is money. We're doing this live, obviously. So we're going to click on publish in here. And as it's publishing, I'm going to go ahead and navigate already to the account. Hopefully he's done publishing by now because I'm going to hit F5 and let's see how this goes. So we're going to go back into the cases, click on new and boom, there it is. John Doe is the new person that owns the case. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week. Subscribe if you haven't done so and we'll see you next week.